Forty-five years after enlightenment, the Buddha concentrated on the welfare of all beings and preached to help people get over their grief. After his ministry to the world, he passed away at the age of 80 at Kusinara in India on a Vesak full moon day in the 6th century BC. After the cremation of the remains of the Buddha, the relics that survived, as it were, were the frontal bone, the two collar bones, and four canine teeth, while the rest were in small fragments of relics. Of the four canine teeth of the Buddha, three are separately enshrined and placed in different places. The right canine was taken by the king of the gods, Sakra, and placed at the Tautisa heaven. Another was taken by a layman of Gandhara, now part of modern Pakistan. The third was taken by the Naga and worshipped, placing it in a golden shrine room in their world. At present, this is enshrined in the Somavati Stupa at Polonnaruwa. The fourth left canine was salvaged from the flames after the cremation by Arahat Kema and was handed over to the king of Kalinga in eastern India. The tooth relic at Kalinga became an object of veneration for 800 years in the period of the Kalinga kings. Several attempts have been made to destroy the relic, but it was miraculously saved from such attempts. In the 4th century, it was King Guhasiva of Kalinga who possessed the tooth relic at that time, and due to attempts of another state prince to take over the relic, King Guhasiva sent the tooth relic to Sri Lanka to safeguard it through his daughter Princess Hemamala and son-in-law Prince Danta. The tooth relic finally reached the Megagiri Vihare in Anuradhapura. According to the late Professor Senarat Paranivitana, this is the present Isurumuniya Vihare. At the time of the arrival of the tooth relic, the king at Anuradhapura was King Kitsiremevan, who ruled between 301 to 328 AD. The tooth relic was well received by him and enshrined in the edifice called Dhamma Chakka Geha, originally built by King Devanampiyadesa in the 3rd century. The sacred tooth relic was taken in procession from the tooth relic shrine to the Abhagiri Vihare for ritual worship. The sacred tooth relic was the palladium of the Lankan kings and was well guarded in all of the kingdoms. Due to foreign invaders arriving at Anuradhapura in 1017 AD, King Vijayabahu I shifted the capital to Polonnaruwa in the 11th century. He made the Atadage at Polonnaruwa in order to house the sacred tooth relic. King Nisankamalla, who ruled between 1187 and 1196, made Hetadage adjoining the Atadage and placed a sacred tooth relic here as well. Due to Kalingamaga's invasion of Polonnaruwa in 1215 AD, the tooth relic and the bowl relic had been taken away by the monks to a safer location in Kotmale in the central hills. In 1232 AD, King Vijayabahu III established the Third Kingdom of Sri Lanka in Damadenia. It was reported that he brought back the two relics and had them enshrined in a beautiful edifice built on the hilltop of Beligala. The next successor to the throne was King Parakramabahu II, who served between 1236 and 1270 AD, and he brought down the relics from Beligala to Damadenia. Mm -hmm. 
When Bunekabahu I, who ruled between 1272 and 1284 AD, became king of Damadenia, he shifted the capital to Yapawa and brought the tooth relic with him to that city. Yapawa was invaded by the Pandyan Arya Chakvarti of South India and he devastated the country and took the tooth and bull relics and handed them over to the Pandyan king Kulasekara. Parakrambahu III, who ruled between 1286 and 1293 AD, became the next king. He visited the Pandyan capital and after amicable discussions brought back the relics to Sri Lanka. When the kingdoms changed again from Kurunagala to Gampala, Korte and Sitavaka, and also when they were disrupted, the tooth relic had been taken by the kings as it was the symbol of their kingship. It was in 1505 the Portuguese came to occupy the maritime regions of the country and brought about the deterioration of Buddhist activities. Due to this, the tooth relic had been taken to the Sitavaka kingdom and hidden in a cairn located in the Delgamo Vihare in Ratnapura. King Vimala Dharmasurya I, who ruled between 1592 and 1604, became the first king of the Kandyan kingdom and brought the tooth relic from Delgamur to its final and present resting place. He built a three-story shrine next to his palace and placed the tooth relic there for veneration. King Rajasinghe II, who ruled between 1635 and 1687, reconstructed the Dalada Maligava as a two-storied shrine when the Portuguese had destroyed it. With the maneuvering by the Dutch, the Portuguese vacated Sri Lanka in 1658. King Vimala Dharmasurya II, who ruled between 1687 and 1707, built a new three-story relic house for the sacred tooth relic. This king is also credited with the preparation of a grand golden casket to house the sacred tooth relic. King Sri Veeraparakrama Narendra Singha, who ruled between 1707 to 1739, renovated the dilapidated palace and decorated with beautiful murals depicting Jataka stories. It is believed that the present palace was built by him. It was during the reign of King Sri Vikramaraja Singha, who ruled between 1798 and 1815, that the British troops defeated the Kenyan kingdom and from 1815 became the first European power to rule the entire country. When the British exercised their custodianship of the tooth relic, even while signing the Kandyan Convention, they had shown keenness and agreed to safeguard the religious tradition of the Buddhists, especially the ones associated with the sacred tooth relic.